Greetings, travel enthusiasts. Welcome to another episode of your Inspiration Quick Travel Guide. Brace yourselves as we whisk you away on a whirlwind tour of the country of France, a land renowned for its art, romance, and extraordinary gastronomy. This ancient nation, with its rich history spanning millennia, uniquely melds the old with the new. France's diverse landscapes, from its quaint countryside to its bustling cities, are truly a feast for the eyes. Its cultural heritage, steeped in art, literature, and gastronomy, has left an immeasurable mark on the world. In this episode, we're going to take you through the 20 most beautiful places to visit in France. We're starting the majestic Chateau de Chambord, moving to the awe-inspiring French Alps and the delightful town of Colmar, then to the scenic Loire and the charming district of Montmartre in Paris. We'll also explore the picturesque Alsace villages, the historic Pont de Garde, the diverse Dordogne Valley, the captivating town of Annecy, the lovely region of Burgundy, the artistic village of Barbizon, and culminating our tour at the Royal Chateau de Fontainebleau. So fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this enthralling journey through the 20 most beautiful places to visit in France. First on our list is the majestic Chateau de Chambord in the heart of France. One of the most recognizable chateaux in the world, Chambord stands as a testament to the grandeur of French Renaissance architecture. Its intricate design, with 440 rooms, 282 fireplaces, and 84 staircases, is a marvel of elegance and engineering. Each room tells a different story, each fireplace a testament to the craftsmanship of the time, and each staircase a journey into history. But the beauty of Chambord doesn't stop at the chateau's walls. It's surrounded by a 52.5 square kilometers wooded park and game reserve, maintained with red deer, offering a serene escape from the grandeur of the chateau. This contrast between the opulence of the chateau and the tranquility of nature is what makes Chambord so special. A visit to the Chateau de Chambord is a journey through time, where each corner reveals a bit more of the grandeur of the French Renaissance. This iconic landmark is a highlight of the Loire Valley and a must visit on your French adventure. Let's now leave the opulence of the chateau behind to explore the natural beauty of the Gorges de Verdun. Often considered one of Europe's most stunning river canyons, the Gorges de Verdun is a spectacle of nature's grandeur. What sets it apart is its startlingly blue-green color, a sight that never fails to mesmerize. It's an adventure lover's paradise, offering a range of water sports like rafting, kayaking, and for the brave hearts, cliff jumping. But the Gorges de Verdun isn't just about its turquoise waters. It's also a haven for wildlife, home to eagles soaring high above, vultures in their lofty nests, and chamois navigating the rugged terrain. This magnificent canyon offers an unforgettable experience for nature lovers and adventure seekers alike, making it a must-visit destination on your French expedition. Our journey continues as we take you next to the glamorous French Riviera, or as it is locally known, the Côte d'Azur. This stunning strip of coastline, stretching from Saint-Tropez to the Italian border, is an enchanting mix of sandy beaches, luxury resorts, and vibrant nightlife. It's not just a playground for the rich and famous, but a destination that offers something for everyone. From the bustling cityscape of Nice and the glitz and glamour of Cannes, to the charming hilltop villages and beautiful islands, the French Riviera is a treat for the senses. As you stroll along the Promenade des Anglais in Nice or venture out to the tranquil Ile de Lerain, you'll be captivated by the region's stunning beauty and rich cultural heritage. The French Riviera offers a blend of luxury, natural beauty, and cultural richness, making it a must-visit destination on your French travel itinerary. Next, we take you to the historical richness of the Palace of the Popes. Nestled in the heart of Avignon, the Palace of the Popes stands as one of the largest and most important medieval Gothic buildings in Europe. Once a fortress and palace, this monumental structure was the seat of Western Christianity during the 14th century. Today, the palace is a museum, attracting close to 650,000 visitors annually. Its grand halls, intricate frescoes, and the towering presence transport you back in time, immersing you in the grandeur of the 14th century. Whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or simply a traveler with a keen sense of curiosity, the Palace of the Popes offers an enriching journey through the pages of history. The Palace of the Popes is a journey back in time to the grandeur of the 14th century. We now travel north to the historic D-Day beaches of Normandy. This hallowed ground is where the Allied forces landed on June 6, 1944, marking a turning point in World War II. 
the beaches of Omaha, Utah, Gold, Juno, and Sword, each tell a tale of bravery and sacrifice that changed the course of history forever. Today, these sandy stretches serve as a solemn reminder of the past, dotted with numerous memorials and museums dedicated to those who gave their lives for freedom. But Normandy isn't just about history. The region also boasts some of France's most beautiful landscapes, from its rugged cliffs to its serene countryside. And let's not forget the delicious Normandy cuisine, famous for its creamy cheeses, cider, and seafood. A visit to the D-Day beaches is indeed a moving experience, offering a poignant glimpse into a pivotal moment in history, while also delighting the senses with its natural beauty and culinary delights. Now, we take you to the picturesque town of Provence. This charming medieval town, listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a living testament to France's rich history. Provence is renowned for its well-preserved city walls and medieval architecture, which have stood the test of time, retaining their grandeur and elegance. Walking through the town feels like stepping into a storybook, with cobbled streets, ancient towers, and quaint houses at every turn. But Provence is not just about history. It's also a place of celebration. Every year, the town hosts a grand medieval festival, attracting history enthusiasts and tourists from around the world. People dress in medieval costumes, engage in traditional games, and enjoy a variety of performances, creating a festive atmosphere that's truly contagious. Provence offers a charming glimpse into France's medieval past, allowing you to experience the magic and vitality of a bygone era. If history fascinates you or you simply enjoy the charm of a small town, Provence is a destination not to be missed. Next, we visit the opulent Palace of Versailles. An epitome of royal grandeur, the Palace of Versailles is a symbol of the absolute monarchy of the Ancien Regime. Its golden gates open into a world of opulence and majesty, which has been beautifully preserved over the centuries. The palace is known for its Hall of Mirrors, a grand corridor lined with three 57 mirrors that reflect the beautiful gardens through the windows on the opposite side. The grand apartments, adorned with elegant paintings and sculptures, offer a glimpse into the lavish lifestyle of the French monarchs. But the grandeur doesn't end inside the palace. The beautiful gardens, spread over 800 hectares, are a marvel in themselves, with meticulously designed landscapes, fountains, and sculptures. The palace is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and attracts millions of visitors each year, who come to marvel at its architectural brilliance and historical significance. The Palace of Versailles is a testament to the grandeur of French monarchy and a must-visit on any trip to France. Before we continue our journey through the diverse landscapes and rich history of France, let's take a moment to reflect on the incredible places we've visited so far. From the majestic Mont Saint-Michel to the opulent Palace of Versailles, we've journeyed through time and space, experiencing the grandeur of France's past and the vibrancy of its present. But our journey is far from over. We have many more awe-inspiring destinations to explore. Picture yourself surrounded by a sea of purple blooms in the lavender fields of Provence, or marvel at the snow-capped peaks of the French Alps. We'll visit charming towns, historical sites, and natural wonders that make France a dream destination for travelers. But we need your support to continue bringing these travel guides to you. If you're enjoying our journey, please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us explore more destinations and share their beauty with the world. So stay tuned and let's continue our journey through the enchanting landscapes of France. Next, we transport you to the breathtaking lavender fields of Provence. Imagine being surrounded by a sea of purple blooms stretching as far as the eye can see. This is the stunning spectacle that awaits you in Provence, a land where the lavender fields paint the landscape with their vibrant hues and fill the air with a sweet, calming fragrance. The best time to visit is from late June to August, when the lavender is in full bloom, creating a picturesque setting that's perfect for photography or simply soaking in the serene atmosphere. But these fields are more than just a beautiful sight. They're a significant part of Provence's identity, contributing to the local economy and culture. From lavender honey and soap to essential oils, the purple bloom's influence can be seen and felt throughout the region. The lavender fields of Provence will leave you with a sensory experience like no other. Next, we take you to the breathtaking French Alps. Known for their stunning landscapes, these towering peaks offer a sight to behold. The French Alps are not just about the beauty, they are a world-class destination for ski lovers, offering some of the best ski resorts in the world. 
But it's not just the skiing that makes the French Alps a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. In the warmer months, these majestic mountains transform into a playground for hikers and climbers. And for those who want to take to the skies, paragliding over the French Alps offers a bird's eye view of this stunning landscape. Nestled in the heart of the Alps is Mont Blanc, the highest peak in Western Europe. Standing at a staggering 4,810 meters, it's a sight that will leave you speechless. The French Alps offer an unforgettable experience for nature lovers and adventure seekers alike, making it a must-visit destination on your French expedition. So as you plan your journey, remember to include this gem in your itinerary. The beauty and adventure of the French Alps await you. Next, we visit the charming town of Colmar, a place that seems to have been plucked straight out of a fairy tale. Known for its well-preserved old town, Colmar is a treasure trove of architectural landmarks and museums. The town is also situated on the Alsatian wine route and proudly considers itself to be the capital of Alsatian wine. As you wander through the cobblestone streets, you'll be captivated by the half-timbered medieval and early Renaissance buildings that make Colmar a popular tourist destination. Don't miss the chance to sample the local wines and delicacies, which offer a unique blend of French and German influences. With its picturesque setting and rich history, Colmar is a destination that will surely captivate any traveler, so come and immerse yourself in the enchanting atmosphere of this Alsatian gem. Now, we take you to the scenic Loire Valley, a place that is a feast for the eyes and the palate. Known for its historic towns, awe-inspiring architecture, and world-renowned wine, the Loire Valley is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that has much to offer. As we journey through this region, you'll be captivated by the grandeur of its chateau, such as the Chateau de Chambord, which serve as timeless reminders of the area's rich history. But it's not just about the past here. The Loire Valley is also home to one of the world's most famous wine regions. Whether you're a connoisseur or a casual drinker, the local vineyards offer a unique opportunity to sample some of the finest wines you'll ever taste. So come and experience the unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty that the Loire Valley has to offer. From the scenic vineyards of Loire, let's step into the bohemian heart of Paris, the enchanting district of Montmartre. Known for its artistic past and lively ambiance, Montmartre is a world away from the hustle and bustle of the city center. It is here where artists like Picasso and Van Gogh found their inspiration, and today, you can still see local artists sketching portraits in the bustling Place du Terche. As we stroll through the narrow, winding streets, you can't help but be charmed by the quirky shops, quaint cafes, and the iconic Sacre Coeur Basilica that provides a stunning panoramic view of Paris. The white-domed basilica, standing at the highest point of the city, is a sight to behold both from the outside and inside. Let's not forget the infamous Moulin Rouge, a historic cabaret that has inspired movies and music and continues to entertain with its vibrant can-can dancers. So if you're looking to experience the artistic soul of Paris, make sure to add Montmartre to your list. It's a place that truly embodies the spirit of La Vie Bohème. Next, we take you to the picturesque Alsace Villages, a place that seems to have been plucked straight out of a storybook. Nestled in the northeastern corner of France, the Alsace region is famous for its charming and colorful villages, each one more beautiful than the last. Imagine half-timbered houses adorned with vibrant flowers, cobblestone streets leading to quaint town squares, and the gentle aroma of freshly baked bread wafting through the air. Each village, with its unique charm and character, offers a glimpse into the region's rich history, culture, and traditions. But that's not all. Alsace is also home to some of the world's most renowned vineyards. So if you're a wine lover, prepare your palate for the exquisite flavors of Alsace wines, from the crisp Riesling to the fruity Gewurztraminer. The Alsace villages offer a unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty, making them a must-visit destination on your French travel itinerary. Next, we visit the historic Pont de Garde, a testament to the engineering prowess of the ancient Romans. This iconic structure is an ancient Roman aqueduct bridge that crosses the Garden River in the south of France. This magnificent piece of architecture, one of the best-preserved Roman aqueducts in the world, stands as a proud reminder of the Roman Empire's grandeur and ingenuity. The Pont de Garde is not just a bridge, it's a marvel of ancient engineering. Its three tiers of finely crafted arches, standing majestically over the river, are a sight to behold. As you walk along its ancient stones, you can almost hear the whispers of the past, telling tales of the Roman Empire's grandeur and genius. 
but the Pont de Garde is not just about the past. Today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting visitors from around the world. Whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or simply a lover of beautiful landscapes, the Pont de Garde is a must visit. Its grandeur and historical significance make it a highlight of any trip to France. Next, we make our way over to the historic Pont d'Avignon, a quintessential symbol of the city's rich history. This famous medieval bridge, located in the charming town of Avignon in southern France, has an enchanting tale to tell. Built in the 12th century, the Pont d'Avignon is not just a bridge, it's a living piece of history. Its stones have witnessed the passage of time, bearing the marks of centuries. The bridge has been immortalized in the famous French folk song, Sur le Pont d'Avignon, and its melody seems to echo in the wind as you walk along the remnants of this historic structure. Once a bustling passage over the Rhone River, the bridge now ends mid-river, offering a unique and picturesque view of Avignon and the surrounding landscapes. Today, the Pont d'Avignon is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting visitors from around the globe. As we leave the historic Pont d'Avignon behind, we journey towards the diverse Dordogne Valley. This enchanting region is a feast for the eyes and the palate, offering a unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty. The Dordogne Valley is a treasure trove of historic towns, awe-inspiring architecture, and world-renowned wine. Here, time seems to have stood still, preserving the charm and grandeur of bygone eras. The region is home to grand chateaux, such as the Chateau de Baynac, which stand proudly against the backdrop of verdant landscapes, offering a glimpse into the region's rich history. But it's not just the sites that make the Dordogne Valley special. This region is also a famous gastronomic destination. Here, you can indulge in some of the finest French cuisine, from succulent duck confit to creamy foie gras, accompanied by a glass of the region's finest wine. So come and experience the unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty that the Dordogne Valley has to offer. As we bid farewell to the Dordogne Valley, we take you to the enchanting town of Annecy, often referred to as the Venice of the Alps. Nestled in the mountainous region of southeastern France, Annecy is a gem waiting to be discovered. The town's Vieille Ville, or Old Town, is a delightful labyrinth of cobbled streets, winding canals, and pastel-colored houses. Each corner you turn reveals a new picturesque scene that looks like it's been plucked straight out of a fairy tale. Dominating the town's skyline is the medieval Chateau d'Annecy. Once home to the Counts of Geneva, this imposing fortress now houses a museum with a diverse collection of regional art and artifacts. The castle's tower offers a panoramic view of the town and the surrounding mountains, a sight that will leave you breathless. But Annecy is not just about history. The town is beautifully situated by Lake Annecy, one of Europe's cleanest lakes. On the lake's shores, the Jardin de l'Europe Park, with its century-old trees and the Paquier Esplanade, provide the perfect setting for a relaxing stroll or a picnic. As we leave the enchanting town of Annecy behind, we take you to our next destination, the beautiful region of Burgundy. Known for its world-class vineyards and celebrated gastronomy, Burgundy is a feast for the senses. The region is rich in history and culture, with the historic cities of Dijon and Beaune serving as its crown jewels. Dijon, the capital of Burgundy, is famed for its medieval architecture, including the imposing Palace of the Dukes, which now houses the city's fine arts museum. Beaune, on the other hand, is the heart of the region's wine industry, with its well-preserved Hospices de Beaune, a former hospital for the poor turned museum. But Burgundy is not just about wine and history. The region is also home to the Morvan National Park, a haven for nature lovers. The park's rolling hills, dense forests, and clear lakes provide the perfect setting for hiking, biking, and camping. It's a place where you can escape the hustle and bustle of city life and immerse yourself in nature's beauty. As we leave the beautiful region of Burgundy, we transport you to the heart of an artistic revolution that took place in the 19th century. Welcome to the village of Barbizon, known as the Cradle of Pre-Impressionism. This quaint village, situated at the edge of the Fontainebleau Forest, became a hub for artists who sought to break free from the constraints of classical art. They were inspired by the natural beauty that surrounded them, and their innovative approach to painting outdoors laid the groundwork for the Impressionist movement. As you stroll through the narrow lanes of Barbizon, you'll find well-preserved houses and studios that once belonged to famous artists like Jean-Francois Millet and Theodore Rousseau. These buildings stand as a testament to the village's rich artistic heritage. One of the highlights of the village is the Barbizon School Museum. 
Housed in the former home and studio of Malig, the museum showcases the works of the artists who lived and worked in the village. Through their paintings, you can see their love for the natural world and their desire to capture its beauty in its rawest form. Barbizon is a must visit for art lovers. We now leave the enchanting village of Barbizon behind to take you to the Royal Chateau de Fontainebleau. This grand palace served as a royal residence for French monarchs from Louis VII to Napoleon III. Continuously inhabited for seven centuries, the Chateau de Fontainebleau is one of the largest French royal chateaux. The palace is renowned for its Renaissance and classical architecture, a perfect blend of traditional French and Italian styles. As we navigate through the lavish rooms, take note of the intricate frescoes, ornate furniture, and opulent decorations that adorn each space. Each room tells a story, a glimpse into the lives of the kings and queens who once called this place home. Outside, the palace is surrounded by a vast park, offering a serene escape from the grandeur of the interiors. The park, with its beautifully manicured gardens, tranquil ponds, and ancient oaks, is a testament to the regal lifestyle of the French monarchy. The Royal Chateau de Fontainebleau is a testament to the grandeur of French monarchy. Before we wrap up this incredible journey through France, make sure to like and subscribe for more travel inspiration. Don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications and support us in creating more content. Check out the description for essential links and resources for your travel and ticketing needs. Au revoir and happy traveling!